Ladies and gentlemen, the tempest of turmoil in Gaza continues to intensify, with both factions relentlessly pursuing their respective agendas. In the latest development, the Israeli Minister of Defense proclaimed Israel's intent to trace and neutralize the spearheads of the militant Hamas movement in Gaza, highlighting Yahya A stark admonition was issued to Hezbollah, stating that any aggression from their side would result in their annihilation. On November 4th, during a press conference, the minister affirmed his intent to locate and neutralize Yahya Shva, the steward of the Islamic Hamas movement. The message to the inhabitants of Gaza was clear. If they handed over Shva, the conflict would draw to a close. Underscoring his resolve, he declared, We will find him, we will discover Yahya Shva's hideout, and neutralize him. We have apprised the people of Gaza. If they hand over Shva before us, this war will soon reach a conclusion. Minister Gantz shared the news of the Israel Defense Force's complete capture of the Gaza city and Gaza Strip, along with the neutralization of 12 Hamas brigade commanders. He assured his people that post this conflict, Hamas would cease to exist, mitigating any threats from Gaza. Furthermore, he issued a stern warning to Hezbollah in Lebanon, outlining the catastrophic repercussions for the organization and the country if they were to instigate a conflict. Reiterating the gravity of the situation, he stated that if Hassan Nasrallah of Hezbollah errs and draws Lebanon into a conflict with Israel, the fate of Hezbollah would inevitably be obliteration. This warning came hot on the heels of a suggestion from Hassan Nasrallah, Hezbollah's secretary general, about a potential large-scale offensive into Israel to alleviate the suffering in Gaza. Hezbollah's leader urged caution to avoid catastrophic errors like the assault on southern Israel on October 10th, which triggered a devastating counterstrike. The conflict continues to escalate amidst threats and assaults from both sides. The Israeli Defense Forces have targeted areas in Lebanon, including infrastructure, missile storage sites, and residential areas areas occupied by Hezbollah. It's crucial to keep in mind that the atmosphere in the Middle East is charged, with both parties bracing for possible escalation and conflict. The unending discord in this region has sparked fears of a larger war looming on the horizon. Israel has voiced its desire to steer clear of another conflict on its northern frontier, but it stands ready for any eventuality. The Israeli Defense Forces have activated their Iron Dome missile defense system to intercept rockets launched by Hamas towards the city of Eilat, situated in the far south of the country. Hamas has officially admitted to launching a long-range missile, commonly referred to as Al-Aqsa 250 or Alage 250, with an astounding range of up to 250 kilometers directly into Eilat. This chilling act marks the second instance of Hamas directing such an attack on the southern regions of Israel, and more specifically, the resort city of Eilat. The unending struggle and building tensions in the Middle East are certainly cause for alarm, and it's quite clear that Israel, along with its adversaries, are readying themselves for a variety of scenarios. This volatile situation has the potential to snowball into a larger, more encompassing regional conflict. In the days leading up to now, both sides have been involved in striking military engagements along the tense border between Israel and Lebanon. The Israeli Defense Forces have been engaged in a fierce standoff with Hezbollah's armed forces, leading to tragic losses on both sides. The general of Hezbollah himself, Hassan Nasrallah, has issued a stern warning, stating his group's readiness for any potential escalation by Israel. In addition, he cautioned that if a broader war were to break out, the United States would be forced to pay a heavy price with its ships, planes, and soldiers. Hezbollah's figurehead declared their intention to prevent provocations in Gaza and ensure a victorious outcome for Hamas. He further admonished that Israel would be making a grave error by initiating an attack on Lebanon. A growing sense of alarm is spreading that the present conflict could very well spiral into a far-reaching regional war. These are genuine possibilities, and all parties should be prepared for such outcomes. These are indeed testing times in the Middle East, and the conflict between Israel, Hamas, and Hezbollah shows no indication of diminishing. The ongoing strife has resulted in a significant number of casualties with constant confrontations, and both sides are maintaining a state of full alert. The international community is observing the situation with bated breath. The White House in particular has voiced its apprehension regarding the actions of both Hezbollah and Israeli forces as the military confrontations along the Lebanon-Israel border grow more severe by the day. The risk of further conflict escalates each day, and the situation is precariously balanced on the edge of a knife. The world is watching, filled with apprehension and concern. Thank you for tuning in to our international news update today. Your attention is greatly appreciated. Farewell, and we will catch up again soon.